Hi, I'm Shannon at Mira Geoscience. This month's tip will show you how you can visually clip, slice, and step through your 3D model using the Slicer tool. Slicers create sophisticated custom views to focus on interesting areas and data at the same time. You can create an unlimited number of slicers and apply one, a selection, or all of the slicers to one, a selection, or all of the objects. In this example, we see two slicers on geologically painted drill holes and one slicer on the massive sulfide surface. Slicers are listed under the Tools folder and each object displays which slicer or slicers cuts through it. To create a new quick slicer on all objects, press X while digitizing a line in the viewport. To create a slicer on one object, use its contextual menu in the Objects panel. You can also add or remove an object from an existing slicer. The slicer has several visual parameter options. These parameters allow you to visually scan through your data and have a closer look at what is going on. As an example, plane flip switches the clipped area from the front to the back of the plane. The slice button switches from a clipping plane to a sliced view with customizable thickness. And the move along normal arrow buttons step through the model in increments. The align with camera button moves the slicer to be parallel with the camera view. The center position, dip, and dip direction of any slicer can also be modified through the visual parameter panel. You can also modify the slicer's geometry through the 3D viewport by pressing X. This will display the interactive moving widget, which allows you to drag the slicer laterally or rotate it in all directions. The look orthogonal to slicer button quickly orients the camera to be able to view the slice at the perfect angle. These features make the slicer an extremely powerful, versatile, and flexible visualization analysis and interpretation tool. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more geoscience analyst tips.